Before I get into this video, guys, I want to say a few things. I want to say, firstly, I do say a few times that I'm not a huge Tommy Robinson fan. Now, Tommy, please don't take offense, buddy, but I'll tell you something, dude. If I didn't say that I wasn't a huge Tommy Robinson fan, people would put the phone down. So, this video is me calling up the Sun newspaper and asking them why the media blackout on this huge story of Tommy Robinson on the BBC Panorama. Now, guys, like I say, Tommy, you're doing a great job. Please do me a favour, guys, and share this so Tommy Robinson sees it. Let's get into the video, guys. This is me calling the Sun newspaper um, and speaking to one of their journalists. Hello, is that the Sun? Yes. Hi. Hi. Yeah, was it you I've just been speaking to, by any chance? No, it wasn't me. How can I help that? Okay, so, um, I'm just wondering... I've just been seeing on social media um, that um, Tommy Robinson has been undercover with the BBC. I don't know if you've seen this. Um, um, I haven't personally, but carry on. So, the only, the only question I'm asking is why the media has not jumped onto it. Maybe because you've not seen it. Uh, maybe we've got to give you a chance to see it. But what it is, they tried doing a, a, a job on Tommy, obviously doing an undercover uh, documentary on him to try and expose him, to try and make him out to be a racist or whatever. But um, actually it backfired because I think Tommy Robinson went undercover on them. And he's got evidence which he's bringing out on a on a weekly on a every seventy two hours. He's bringing out different evidence. Uh, on where have you where have you seen the original thing? I'm, is this on Twitter or is it? It's on Facebook, social media. It's all over the place. Yeah. What would I, if I, while you're on the phone, it'd probably be easier if you just told me, and I might be able to type it in. And, uh, yeah, Facebook, yeah. Facebook. Doc, um, yeah, give me a second. Oh, John Sweeney is. I mean, you know, obviously John Sweeney, right? Um, yes. He. Um, there's a video of him spending two hundred and twenty pound on lunch and laughing and joking. They said it's only expenses. You know, I think it's a bit of a joke. I'm not. I'm not. I'll be honest. I'm not a huge Tommy Robinson fan. I'm not. But when I'm seeing videos like this, and my nana, you know, God bless her, she's she was paying the TV license and she was worried, worried and worried and worried. But yet you see execs spending like ridiculous amount of money on on food and wine and champagne and. What am I typing in um, into the search bar? And just um, uh, Facebook.com forward slash the Tommy Robinson. The Tommy Robinson. Yeah. Um, what he's doing over the next... I don't know if you've seen this, but... Tommy oh, yeah, I see, I see what you're talking about. He was only on 11 hours ago, so I haven't certainly haven't seen it, but I will flag it up. Um, but go on, sorry. What you yeah, said, so... Uh, the, the situation is they tried doing a... Panorama tried doing a, an undercover documentary on Tommy Robinson, exposing him. That It, it was yeah. the real Tommy Robinson or something. I don't know. They was bringing it out. And yeah. um, but Tommy Robinson is always one step ahead, as as he always is. And they had uh, he had someone undercover on them, and some of the footage of John Sweeney is an absolute joke. Sitting there and sneering down on 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 the working class, almost talking about you know as if we're some kind of aliens. You got, you know, there's a few videos on yeah. there, and he's really yeah. really talking. Um, bad about the the working class, and you can hear it, and it's all there undercover. And I'll be honest with you. I I st I've stopped paying my TV license today because of this, and and I hope many others do the same until we understand what what the money is getting spent on. Because if he's spending two hundred and twenty pound on champagne just for a dinner, yeah, yeah, then I think that is a bit over expensive. And he sits there, and if you watch the video, and he sits there and he talks about like it's some kind of you know um, it's some kind of like um, I don't know um, you know oh it's you know, it's only expenses. Don't worry about it. You know, when you start worrying about things like that, you know, I, I start to, I start to question, you know, why, why we're paying a TV license if he can just go and squander two hundred and twenty pound on expenses, and he exactly. quite, you know, he um, quite, quite clearly says that in the, in, the, in the video. So, put aside Tommy Robinson for a second. Just, it's not even him in the video. This is someone else working for Tommy Robinson, undercover on the BBC. So, yes, it needs to be put to the forefront. You're quite quick on jumping on Tommy Robinson when he's done something wrong. You know, and, and kind of, and, and I agree, but what what he, what he's done here is the right thing, and I'm sure mm. you, if you're paying the TV, are you paying the TV license? Oh uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. Right. Would you want Would you want to know if the BBC are splashing money? No, no I'm I'm on the same boat as you. I don't know why I do. I don't know why I do pay it. Um, it's so what, completely pointless. And it, and yeah, I would want to know if they're spending money like that. Expenses two hundred pound, two twenty on the lunch. I mean, what everything you've said sounds very interesting, and I can thank you for pointing me in the right direction, but I'm finding it hard to comment at the moment only because I haven't seen any yeah. of it, that's well, all. Please, um, 
please can I call you back in a couple of hours time and can you let me know um, if, if what you're doing with it because you can, you can yeah you can I want, I want you to take this seriously because me as a working you know working class person you know who works very hard and I, in all in all fairness I just don't think there's enough put aside the, the, the hatred towards Tommy because there is a lot of it you know but look at the situation he's in you know and I always say don't just read the headlines read the small print and and the fact that Tommy Roberts is always getting slandered in the paper, it's very hard to write anything good about Tommy Robertson, isn't it? Because as soon as you do, everyone's going to jump on you. You're going to, you're going to feel the wrath of the media. You're going to be called a racist. Yeah, you're going to be called a racist. But he's never been done for racism. He's never been arrested for it. And let's be honest, Tommy Robertson, they wanted him in prison and they did him for, done for mortgage fraud, right? So if they wanted him done for racism, do you not think they would have arrested him by now? Because they've, they've gone that deep into mortgage fraud. I know it's serious, but you know what I mean? Like, they've gone that deep yeah, into I mean, his I haven't, life. I haven't personally got any respect for him myself. No. Um, why, can I ask you why is that? I'm not, not because I'm a fan or whatever. No, just... I'm, um, I don't really respect people who beat up their pregnant wives or girlfriends and that. Well, as soon as someone raises their hand to a woman like that, I lose all respect for him. When um, did he do that? Uh, it was a good few years ago. I think he got arrested for it. Um, he did get arrested for it. He got um, arrested for beating his wife? Uh, he's, I think it was his pregnant fiance at the time, yeah. Wow, I never knew that. And what, did he get sent to prison um, for that? I don't know if he got sent to prison, but he certainly got in a lot of trouble. I remember it at the time. It was a, I'm sure I'm thinking over 10 years ago. Wow. Um, but, I mean, you can do it 100 years ago. I just don't, I don't particularly, personal view, respect people like that. Um, I never I never knew he did that, I'll be honest. That's a, I mean, <clears throat> why, is it that, why is that not in the papers then? Surely that would be in the well, papers because, if that was... It, well, it, it has been in the paper before, but... Has it? It's old, it's old, old news. I mean, we obviously, yeah. when uh, when someone does something, then we don't always go back. Fifteen mm -hmm. years ago, he did this because it's not normally relevant to the story, unless he's unless he's in the paper again for having a fight or doing something like that. Then it might say he's got previous for doing X, Y, and Z. Did you write um, about that story, like, or was it someone else? Sorry, was it you who wrote about that story, or was it like? No, I didn't write it. No, oh, no, I wasn't. Right. I wasn't. Um, I was in, Probably in secondary school. <laughs> right, okay, okay. Okay, so okay, so when I ring you back and if it, who am I asking for? What's your name? So My name's Pat. Pat, okay. Pat is it just is there only one Pat there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Pat I'll uh, I'll call you back in a few hours then. I mean I'm gonna look into this. I mean I'm gobsmacked if Tommy Robinson has beat up his wife while she was pregnant, that's a bit I never knew that, I'll be honest. Um but I'm yeah. definitely gonna look into that and um, and and if 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 that story is found to be fake, is that the only reason you dislike him? Or is it... Well, no, there's a few others. I mean, I don't particularly like the baiting that he does towards Islam either. Um, no. I don't particularly like that. Um, and he's, he's, I think he's a bit of a fraud, to be honest. Um, yeah. Do you, do you? Wow. Okay. I mean, I mean, I, 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 I'm beyond, I, I feel a little bit starstruck, that's all. Just because, I, it's not starstruck, I'm a little bit deluded then. Because I feel I'm probably reading too much oh, into I mean, you're going to have a different opinion. No, 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 I don't, I don't, I'll be honest with you, I'm open to opinion, I'm not, I'm not sitting there going, I believe that and that's it. I'm, 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 yeah. I didn't know that what you've just said, so I'm a bit gobsmacked, but secondly, what I do, what I don't know is that is, is, um, the, the Islam thing, obviously, you know, there's two different situations, isn't there, what I do believe, there's Muslim and then there's Islam, right, there's the idea and then there's Muslim as a, as a normal person, as a person, right, so, so, what I don't understand is, why can't we talk about Islam and, and, and question it? Not question the people, because the people are probably nice people. But I'm on about the, the, the Quran and, and, and the Islam as a religion. Why can't we question it without being called a racist? That's, that's you know, I'm sure if people talk I about... I guess the, it depends who you speak to. I mean, if you, you can question it to me, um, but it depends who you speak to. But it's the same thing as... The Bible. I mean, I, 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 mean, I, I was brought up a Catholic, but a lot of religion is... Um, hard to follow and yeah. it causes a lot of problems sometimes sorry it if that causes offense but no 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 it, do, it, no, uh, no, it I'm doesn't not just talk, I'm not talking about that i'm talking about everything christianity islam and yeah. whatever you're do you, whatever, do you think do you, would you people. say if i said to the, say i said to a priest a catholic priest the the bible i don't i don't like it do you think he mm. would he would ring the police and say I want him done for racism. No, he'd probably, ch he'd probably chat to you about it and ask you why. Right, so why is it on the other side? You know what I mean? And I know people are different, but why is it when you talk about the Quran and you say it's not for me, they bring out the race card? That's the, that's the only thing. It's not fair to I say mean, again, that's racism. Again, I, I don't know. It's never, happened. it's never happened to me, and I've spoken to imams and yeah. people like that. And they haven't. So, but that's only that's the only that's only what Tommy but, Robinson. I guess it, all, it all depends on the person you ask. If you yeah. if you did go up to a Catholic priest and say, 
I don't believe in this, then, yeah, might, one might call the police. But the what, for racism? Down, well, possibly. You don't know the person. It all depends on the person. But is it racist? Is, 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 is it well, racist? No, 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 no. I'm not in my opinion, but in so, his opinion, it might be. And you might go down the road and ask exactly the same question right. to another priest who yeah. will say he'll give you a completely different answer. But do you not it's think this is what needs to be opinion. cleared up in the, in, the, in the government that's saying, look, racism is this, it's not this? You know, because then we, I can say that you're a paedophile when you're not. You know what I mean? I can just chuck it out. And it's not, you know what I mean? It's not It's not a cool thing to be called a racist if, if you're not a racist. You know, because then no, you're breaking... No, I do believe it all comes down to personal opinion and how, how offended you are with certain things. So I won't be offended about would you, would you say Would you say someone who brushed past someone and... and I don't know, sh moved their crotch a little bit by accident or whatever, is a paedophile. Because what I'm saying is, it's how you interpret it. You know, I yeah, think he's a paedophile yeah, now. See. Do you see what I mean? It's, you can't, surely that we see, can't... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It does depend on... But, you, but it wouldn't be done for paedophilia just for brushing past someone like that. Because you wouldn't be done for that. In the law, you wouldn't be done... And you wouldn't be done for racism. You can't call someone a racist if, if they're not a racist. That's what I'm trying to get, and that's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Like, look, let's let's as the media, as the media, and, and, and I'm I'm so happy we've had this chat because I'm not trying to, you know, overrule you or whatever. I think you've got a great opinion, and and I think I'll take that on on, on my side. I'll listen to anyone, mate. Yeah, and I appreciate that, and that that's what a journalist should do. A, a true journalist like you, and I, I and I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna write a, a statement on this on, on my website, and I think what you've done here is brilliant. Because you've opened up the bit and you've allowed me to speak. You've not sat there and over-talked me. No, there's no point just hanging up, is there? That's just... No. If you're going to ask a question, I'll answer it. But I think, I think obviously, about the racism card on Tommy Robinson, yeah. he's, he's been done for mortgage fraud, so they've dug into his past and they've dug into everything really in de detail, and they've got him done for mortgage fraud, but yet he's never been done for racism. And when people calling him a racist, I just think, well, he's never been done for it. So it's like calling someone a paedophile who's never been done for paedophilia. It's like someone calling someone a murderer who's never been done for murderer. You can't call them that until they've been tried. You can't, surely. Do you see what I mean? We can label... Oh, I completely... I, I, yeah, your, your point makes sense. Yeah. You can't do mean. that. And I think that's what's making people and Tommy Robinson rise to the top because they're not... We're not... You know, we're not stupid. You know, people who believe and see things... They make their own assumptions, and this is why I think if the media just, no disrespect to yourself, but your media is known or known for telling white lies here and there, you know, probably more than white lies in some cases, but you know what I mean, like, I just think if people just go, you know what, as a journalist, if I just told the truth and seen it how I seen it, then we might actually have 20 more million subscribers. That's, I'll tell you what, that's why we have columnists. And yeah. that's why columnists get a lot of, a lot of people might disagree and call a columnist racist or call them x y and z because they all have opinions but I, but I think i think that's exactly what ne what's needed on the headline not tommy robinson far far right i mean as soon as you mentioned that far right label i i assume nazis i assume fuggery i assume all that kind of stuff yes i do think going to the streets sometimes could look fuggery i get it but when you're seeing lately these footages of a grown working you know grown you know adults and and children on the shoulders of families almost like a celebration you see that at like um you know the queen's parade you know when the queen's change of guard you see that kind of atmosphere and, and you're gonna say i doubt it but you do the latest footages of tommy robinson's marches and and stuff like that it's a family it looks like a family um gathering almost like everyone's shaking each other's hands cuddling each other you don't see what you used to see with the edl which is obviously the fuck you know the smash windows everyone getting drunk this he has really turned turned the other opposite side and now with obviously the internet and everything you can actually see it at first hand and i think that is what i'm saying is put aside their past look at what he's doing now and then i know what you're saying if he's been done for beating up a, a woman and pregnant woman it was actually a police officer who he hit a police officer who stopped him from hitting his who from beating up his girlfriend. That was what he got done for. What what, a, what was it? Person. What was he done for? What do you know? Well, I'm not sure, but I'm reading here. I don't know if it's GBH, ABH, it'd be, or assault. But so it, Tommy Robinson's first conviction was for hitting a policeman who was trying to stop him beating up his girlfriend. A pretty, uh, wow! I never knew that. I'll have to look into uh, it. Again, I don't know the year. I don't know when. But I what? Not what newspaper was that in? This is in the Independent. Uh, <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but, uh, but uh, uh, listen, uh, oh, no, it, it, must, it must have some evidence. Otherwise, why would it be there? Because surely they get slandered and slated for it, and, and they get, uh, you know, they get done. But yeah, you I, know, I just, I'll, yeah, sorry. I don't know. I mean, look, going going forward, I look. Anyway, at, 
look, sorry, I'm not not being rude, but I've got to carry on answering phones and doing this. Yeah, 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 no problem. What you've said. I'm, look, I've got the link in front of me that you've told me to go on, so I'm going to have a look at it, and you can call back, feel free, and I'll chat to you again. That'll okay? be brilliant. Thank you for your time. Cheers, mate. What was your name? Uh, it's, it's Liam. Liam. All right, thanks very, thanks very much, Liam. Cheers, mate. Cheers, thanks. Mate. Bye. Bye.